I, I have always learned that God gives you what you need, not what you want. And I needed them on so many levels. And they needed each other. Um, because, you know, I told our girls from, the, from day one, it's not about basketball for us, it's about telling the story. And uh, I always get emotional, but, you know, 38 years um, till last Saturday, who would have thought, you know, a, a team from the PIL, smallest school in the state tournament, numerically, 78% free and reduced lunch. Um, a third of our girls played in track shoes three years ago. Some girls couldn't even afford the participation fee, and for us to be at the state tournament was a miracle with the limited resources we had. But we realized that not having resource can sometimes serve as the resource. And uh, when we didn't have the slick shoes and the nice uniforms, we had each other. And there's something beautiful about a bond, if you believe in it, that can be transformational. Uh, I'm reminded of a quote by Wes Moore that says, young girls are more likely to believe in themselves if they know that there's someone somewhere who shares that belief. To carry the burden of belief alone is too much for young shoulders. We had belief, right? Like you don't have to have exceptional talent if you have exceptional belief. And all year, Mackenzie Porter, who's doing an HBCU tour this week, isn't here, but she tried to tell everybody in the paper that we were gonna win this. I didn't believe her. I even told her to, to calm the rhetoric down. You know what I'm saying? You're putting too much pressure. But she saw something I didn't. She, she was Nostradamus in the moment. And uh, for some reason, on Championship Saturday, it was the most peaceful day of my life. I have never been more peaceful about something than I was the day I got married. Like, that was the most peaceful day of my life. The second most peaceful day was the state championship game. And that's real talk. And I knew we were going to win. They knew more than I knew that we were going to win. And during the game, I knew we had the game. I just didn't know at what point we had the game. And, uh, and so I'm so proud of these girls because 38 years, the PIL has been overdue to see elite girl basketball played at a high level in the city. And so I am so freaking proud of these girls. Let's just give it up one last time.